August 13, 2019, Tuesday of the 19th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. When Moses had finished speaking to all Israel, he said to them, I am now 120 years old, and am no longer able to move about freely. Besides, the Lord has told me that I shall not cross this Jordan. It is the Lord your God who will cross before you. He will destroy these nations before you, that you may supplant them. It is Joshua who will cross before you, as the Lord promised. The Lord will deal with them just as he dealt with Sihon and Og, the kings of the Amorites whom he destroyed, and with their country. When, therefore, the Lord delivers them up to you, you must deal with them exactly as I have ordered you. Be brave and steadfast. Have no fear or dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who marches with you. He will never fail you or forsake you. Then Moses summoned Joshua, and in the presence of all Israel said to him, Be brave and steadfast, for you must bring this people into the land which the Lord swore to their fathers he would give them. You must put them in possession of their heritage. It is the Lord who marches before you. He will be with you and will never fail you or forsake you. So do not fear or be dismayed. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm, the response is, The portion of the Lord is his people. For I will sing the Lord's renown. O proclaim the greatness of our God. The rock, how faultless are his deeds, how right all his ways. The portion of the Lord is his people. Think back on the days of old. Reflect on the years of age upon age. Ask your father and he will inform you. Ask your elders and they will tell you. The portion of the Lord is his people. When the Most High assigned the nations their heritage, when he parceled out the descendants of Adam, he set up the boundaries of the peoples after the number of the sons of Israel. The portion of the Lord is his people. While the Lord's own portion was Jacob, his hereditary share was Israel. The Lord alone was their leader. No strange God was with him. The portion of the Lord is his people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you. Unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. The Gospel of the Lord.